we will offer this mass for the intentions of burial fair child. And also let us pray for our beloved father, Neomal, who is taking up a new ministry today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In a moment of silence, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Beloved, the prophets who prophesied of the grace that was to be yours made careful search and inquiry concerning this salvation, inquiring about the person or time that the Spirit of Christ within them indicated when it was testified in advance to the sufferings and the subsequent glory destined for Christ. It was revealed to the prophets that they were serving not themselves, but you, in regard to the things that have now been announced to you through those who brought you good news. By this Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things into which angels long to look. Therefore, prepare your minds for action. Discipline yourselves. Set all your hope on the grace that Jesus Christ will bring you when he is revealed. Like obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires that you formerly had in ignorance. Instead, as he who called you is holy, be holy yourselves in all your conduct. For it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. The word of the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have won him victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of of Israel. The Lord has made All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. The Lord has made The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Peter began to say to Jesus, 
Look, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age houses, brothers and sisters, mothers and children and fields with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord Today, we heard about the assurance given to St. Peter by our Lord Jesus. That is the same assurance Jesus gives each one of us this morning, this day. Jesus says, those who have left house or brothers or sisters or mother of father of fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news will receive hundred falls now houses brothers mothers children and persecutions and eternal life what Jesus tells in this gospel passage has become true personally in my own life and I'm sure in the life of Father Larry and Father Neumal and other fathers and those who have dedicated themselves. In a way, my dear sisters and brothers, I am um, uh, very sad today because my brother, uh, I called him my younger brother, Father Neumal, had to leave us for a new ministry, for a new mission. I believe in this country the Lord gave him as a brother. So, though I am sad by losing him for a short while, I am blessed with so many brothers and sisters, and of course mothers, fathers, and children. You all are God-given brothers and sisters. So that is the assurance Jesus gives us today and it has become true right now in this very moment and uh, it is going to be true with everyone who have left everything and everyone for the sake of Christ for the sake of good news they will receive hundred falls in this life and also the eternal life.
Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine, we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by your Lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleased into your Lord God. Wash me from my iniquity. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, I am the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, I am the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once again, giving thanks, he gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many. 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Let us also remember the departed souls. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on our soul, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The mass is ended. Go in peace of Christ.